Welcome back everybody. I decided to do a video because I got two days of massive mail. And before I forget, I wanted to congratulate Nate uh, Tops uh, 8575309 or 8675309 or whatever it is uh, because uh, he got uh, a mythical card that uh, Barry Bonds for his collection that he's been waiting 15 years for. So go take a look at uh, um, uh, Nate's video there. I got a bunch of postcards that came in and um, I will quickly get through those because they don't need a lot of time. Uh, this one here is from uh, something Washington because I forgot what it is and I can't read it. It starts with an S. It's not subtle Washington. It's a something Washington. So there's that one on a Black Bear postcard. So that's really cool. This one here is South uh, Colby, Washington. with one of the nicest cancels I've ever seen and canceled my stamps very nicely there and there and this used to be a uh, postcard from Louisiana but now it's not because I covered that up so that's cool National Audubon Society I think I had two or three more postcards but they have since mi been misplaced so we will not worry about those I got an amazing care package here we'll do that I guess next because that's next in line it looks like and it came from a uh, Steve again Faisal the clown that was really nice of you did not need to do that but I always appreciate that and this is some pretty fun stuff that he sent me in a couple of envelopes here he sent me his uh, uh, custom there um, that would be cool to get that graded maybe one of these days here's a magnet of Horace Lisenby I've never seen that before so that's really, really cool it's a magnet I got these two 87 tops I just checked and I do not have either one of these. Bill Buckner, which I do have, but I do not have the Roger Clemens back variation. I've seen those before and I have actually have a few of those. And I collect variations of 87 tops. In fact, I found some, I think, at a Goodwill one time. And there's the Bill Buckner back one. So that's really pretty cool to have those. So that's really nice. Thank you for those. Then I got some 61 tops, which I'm working on at the moment. And I have uh, Bob Davis right here. Very uh, poor condition Bob Davis, but doesn't matter because Bob Davis still played and it honors his career. Uh, Harry Anderson looking down so that's really pretty cool and very good condition uh, to, to my knowledge. And the one that just dropped on here is Ted Klaszewski. Uh, I think that uh, Kl Klaszewski is what everybody says but Klaszewski or something is like uh, uh, Los Angeles Angels uh, White Sox there and doesn't just there's a back there so that was really cool and he sent me a Los Angeles Kings pocket schedule He's got a couple of notes uh, uh, explaining uh, what he sent and why he sent it and something in the future. And I appreciate all that. You have a small care package going out, uh, envelope care package. I, if I provided I can get to the post office today, it's just been absolutely nuts. So um, then I got a purchase from uh, John Fitzgerald on eBay. I don't know his eBay name. Um, and he uses some of the vintage stamps like I use, you'll see in a minute here. He sent me two bonus postcards uh, to protect the item that I got. And uh, Detroit and Southeast Michigan. And this one says, uh, Henry, thank you for your order. Be safe out there, John. And I ordered this really cool uh, Perry Mason postcard, which is in a sleeve. I just took it out of there. Um, this is from 1984, and it commemorates his... Uh, original run of 1957 to 1966. I've been watching the Perry Mason movies and that my uncle gave to my mom and I just finished that and I figured I'll just get that and that's kind of cool. So that's pretty neat. As far as the stamps go, there are just an absolutely massive ton of stamps that I purchased. I think I saved 10 bucks on eBay um, from uh, somebody Roth stamps I don't know his name I forget but you can find all kinds of discount postage a lot of sellers are using this stuff now to save a lot of money and you can save 25 percent or more sometimes maybe only a few cents but I got free shipping on these stamps I got 13 cent stamps and 4 cent stamps because that's what I wanted this time so that was really pretty cool the envelope has been already thrown away here but I got um, uh, Oklahoma City 89ers Tommy Box. That's really awesome. It's kind of a funny pose and he's got kind of a cool pirates looking hat. I promised to show Connor Watrous uh, in that um, in my video. This card there. This is from 1985. He just got something uh, pretty close to that from 86 or 87. So this is really cool. He didn't get Tommy Box but another similar type card. And these are very cheap and affordable. If you buy them in Team Sess, don't buy them separately. That's just foolhardy. So there's that one. Then I got a really amazing care package, well, I don't know, a care package, but a TTM request um, back from uh, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. 
and you know what that is, that's NASCAR country. And I got 404 from former driver Jerry Nadeau. So that's really amazing, Jerry Nadeau. I've never sent him before. But he unfortunately used um, his favorite dying Sharpie. But no fault of his, these cards are mega glossy. And I may not even have prepped them, I don't remember. I think I used an eraser a little bit on there. That one came out not too terrible, but you can barely see his first half of the name. There's this one. And this one. And I've had those cards since they were practically brand new. I bought them in a local card shop that we used to have here. And the, the, one of the awesomest card shops, one of the awesomest dudes ever, but he was so generous, um, he just made himself go out of business because he was a Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, but anyway, because this care pack, or this um, YouTube thing out of Los Angeles, California, which is almost identical to that... Um, to this envelope here, I just had it a minute ago, the Charlotte one. Um, that envelope, um, we're not going to worry about that envelope because it's going to take me an hour to find it. Um, this one came from legendary BMX racer Mike Buff. And if you don't know who Mike Buff is, Mike Buff is a Hall of Fame member, widely recognized as one of the original godfathers of freestyle. He joined the legendary BMX action track team in 1979 and helped introduce freestyle BMX. And his Mike bike of choice is the PK Ripper. And there's all kinds of Mike Buff tribute bikes and parts and all kinds of things on eBay right now. Just absolutely amazing the resurgence of BMX and all the vintage 80s parts and, and uh, reproduction and tribute bikes. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, one of the YouTube uh, guys, uh, resellers, uh, uh, eBay resellers, uh, has a, a, a special edition, I think, uh, bike. Then, and the pads alone were selling for like a couple hundred bucks or something ridiculous. So that is a custom of his that he gave me. Not only did he give me that one, but he gave me this awesome one. And I think he uses the word radness on the back of it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Well, I've never seen the word radness before, but um, there are 40 years of radness. That is awesome. Mike Buff, 40 years of radness. That's really cool. And he did not stop there. He gave me another one, 40 years of radness. So that is really amazing. Those look like the Donruss cards. And if you remember, um, uh, there is one of my Donruss cards there. Amazing. So that's really awesome. And, not to be outdone, he sent me a sticker that looks like a sticker from a front of a bicycle that's made like a head badge. There's that one. And there's the last but not least, another Mike Buff card that he signed for me. So this is really awesome stuff. The video is flashing dead battery. I, I think I've got it all. I'm not doing another retake. This is take number five. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Thank you to everybody who gives me stuff. Thank you to everybody who watches. Thank you everybody for everything. And thanks for watching.